Installing a spare tire in your F-150 is a little more involved than just any other vehicle. We're going to go through a step-by-step -step guide and show you how to install the spare tire so you're not confused on the side of the road. That's perfect, Drew. So the first uh, thing you need to know is any passengers in the truck, you need to get them out of the vehicle so we don't want them inside when you're jacking it up. Right. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing you're going to want to do is activate your hazards and set your park brake and then make sure that the vehicle is actually in park and turn the engine off. Okay, now we're gonna go get the tool bag and the uh, jack and get started. You're gonna grab the jack and the tool kit from behind the rear seat, just pull that lever, pull it down. There's a couple of straps here that are holding the tool kit in place. So we're gonna release those to be able to get the whole tool bag kit out. Once you've got all your straps released, just slide it over, and lift it out, and we're ready to assemble the tools. Once you've got your tool kit out, you're going to use your key to unlock the cylinder on the back bumper. This will give you access to be able to lower the tire. Assemble the jack handle. Now we're going to insert this into the guide tube. From here we're going to turn counterclockwise to lower the tire. Now you want to lower it until you've got plenty of slack on the guide wire. Once you've got enough slack, you can pull the tire out and then remove the retainer. Next you're going to take your wrench. We're going to break and loosen these bolts just enough so that they're loose. We're not going to remove them completely. If your flat tire is located on the front, it's important to locate the jack point on the frame rail, not the control arm. And by the way, that frame rail has a little arrow pointing where to locate it. In this case, the flat tire is on the rear, and so the important thing here is to put the location point for this jack underneath the rear axle, just adjacent to the rear tire, as we're showing here. To jack the truck up now, we simply turn the wrench to the right clockwise. I'm going to make sure that we get all the wheel off of the ground. So once your wheel is completely off the ground, we can now remove the lug nuts. We're going to use our lug nut wrench. Keep all of your lug nuts in one place so they don't all roll away and remove the flat tire. Really important to remember here, guys, that before mounting the spare tire, that the surfaces here are free of any corrosion, of any loose material before you mount the spare tire. Another important thing to remember is the guide hole, you want that to be clean and free of debris and corrosion as well before mounting it. Next, we mount it. Once you've got it mounted, apply one of your lug nuts so that it's going to hold the wheel to the hub flat. Now we can apply the rest of the lug nuts. So again, be sure that you don't tighten these all the way with the wrench. Just get them all finger tight, and now we can lower the truck back onto the wheel. In the reverse order, we're going to go counterclockwise to lower the truck. The next thing to do is tighten down all your lug nuts and secure the wheel to the hub. Really important here, guys, that when you're tightening these down, make sure you're applying good pressure so they're really snug and firm about 150 pounds of torque. Uh, pounds of torque is gonna to be the equivalent of a person weighing about 150 pounds. Now work your way around in a cross pa patch pattern. When you're done securing your lead nuts, you're pretty much ready now to store the flat tire back underneath the truck. Now we're gonna slide the tire back underneath the rear end of the truck. 
Now from here, we're gonna replace this and pop it back into the, into the tire. We're gonna insert that back into the guide tube. Now from here, we're gonna turn clockwise to raise the tire. All right, now you're gonna to wanna to tighten this as much as possible until you hear the ratchet slip. There we go. Now we're gonna gather our, all of our tools. We're gonna to store those back in the truck. Well, that wasn't so bad. No, not at all. Pretty quick job, actually. It should take you about 15 minutes. Now make sure that the tool strap is properly secured so those tools aren't loose while you're driving. Right. Do a final inspection around the vehicle. Make sure everything's tight. Make sure you haven't left anything outside. Give yourself a pat on the back. You're all done. Perfect. Thank you very much.